what was it, what was your experience kind of going from Mac Afro now to Gone South? Like, what did that kind of do for you? Like, were you like, okay, I learned this with Mac Afro, or were you kind of like, okay, now I know kind of what to expect, or what was well, your process? Yeah, well, Gone South was actually the first thing that I that I scripted that mm -hmm. I wrote. You mm -hmm. know, I had story ideas for Mac Afro, but Troy wrote that. So now now it's me. You know, mm -hmm. now I'm writing, and I'm working with I, I worked with Mark Sandroni for the first issue, and that took. He's like a toy package designer. We mm -hmm. all have day jobs. Yeah. Um, and it took a year to get that book out, and then he he told me, he's like, yeah, man, I, I'm, you know, I'm not number two is not going to come any sooner. So I was like, okay, are you okay if I get a, a new artist? And and Guy LeMay drew issues two and three, and still it wound up coming out once a year, <laughs> which I've decided, you know what? Like I I do this first and foremost not for my livelihood. Yeah. But to you love it. get it out there, I yeah. want it done right, and um, you know, Guns of Blazing came out annually. Yeah, and I feel a little bad about that, but you know, we could have cranked it out faster. But you know, once it's done, it's it's finished. Yeah, and I want to enjoy the experience of making it, and I don't want to like, oh, Raph, we got to hurry in because you know it's a month now. Exactly. You know? So I I really enjoy making the comic, and I make it at my own pace. And yeah. If it takes me five years to get six issues out. That's you what know, it is. That's, that's what it is. Now it's done. You know? Yeah, and now you have so. the when it comes into trade, and it'll go into be in perpetuity forever. And yeah, you know, yeah. So that's the plan. Yeah. That that's awesome. Yeah.